What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Gabia, and in today's lesson, we're going to learn 10 summer idioms. I really hope you're having a good time and enjoying your summer holidays. Are you ready to expand your vocabulary? If so, grab your notebook and let's dive in. So, the first idiom we're going to learn today is dog days of summer. Dog days of summer. What do you think it means? Dog days of summer are the hottest days of summer, usually between early July and early September. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, the dog days of summer are absolutely scorching in Valencia. I turn on the air conditioner or take a dip in the sea in order to survive. The dog days of summer are absolutely scorching in Valencia. I turn on the air conditioner or take a dip in the sea in order to survive. And the second example, I don't go running in the dog days of summer. I don't go running in the dog days of summer. And now let's move on to our second idiom, which is Indian summer. Indian summer. Do you know what Indian summer means? It's warm and sunny weather during the autumn. And now a few examples. The first one, I love an Indian summer because it's neither hot nor cold. I love an Indian summer because it's neither hot nor cold. And the second example, I'm really looking forward to an Indian summer. I'm really looking forward to an Indian summer. Let's continue. Our idiom number three is to swim against the tide. To swim against the tide. It means not to follow what everyone else is doing because you don't mind being different. And now two examples. The first one, Sky swam against the tide when she chose not to get married or have children like all of her friends. Sky swam against the tide when she chose not to get married or have children like all of her friends. The second example, I swam against the tide when I realized that the office job wasn't for me. I swam against the tide when I realized that the office job wasn't for me. Our idiom number four is a place in the sun. A place in the sun. It's a situation or a job where you're happy and have everything you want. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, after so much sacrifice and hard work, they earned a place in the sun by releasing a very successful documentary. After so much sacrifice and hard work, they earned a place in the sun by releasing a very successful documentary. And one more example, I found my place in the sun when I moved to Spain. I found my place in the sun when I moved to Spain. Let's move on to our idiom number five, everything under the sun. Everything under the sun. It means a wide range of things. And now a few examples. The first one, it was nice catching up. We spoke about everything under the sun. It was nice catching up. We spoke about everything under the sun. And the last example, I tried everything under the sun, but couldn't get rid of this wine stain. I tried everything under the sun, but couldn't get rid of this wine stain. And guys, before we continue, just a super quick reminder, please make sure you're subscribed to my channel and your notifications are activated. Thank you. And now let's continue. Our idiom number six is to be full of hot air. To be full of hot air. It means to talk nonsense. And now two examples. The first one, take what James says with a pinch of salt. He's full of hot air. Take what James says 
with a pinch of salt. He's full of hot air. And the second example, I decided to quit my job and become a full-time YouTuber. You're full of hot air. I decided to quit my job and become a full-time YouTuber. You're full of hot air. Number seven, to take a shine to somebody or something. To take a shine to somebody or something. It means to like somebody or something immediately. And now some examples. The first one, Ella took a shine to her new colleague. Ella took a shine to her new colleague. And the second example, I took a shine to the old house that was crumbling down. I took a shine to the old house that was crumbling down. Number eight, to catch some rays. To catch some rays. It means to sit or lie in the sun. And now, two examples. The first one, let's catch some rays. It's lovely outside. Let's catch some rays. It's lovely outside. And one more example, you can get vitamin D by catching some rays. You can get vitamin D by catching some rays. Two more to go. Number nine, to soak up the sun. To soak up the sun. The meaning is exactly the same as to catch some rays. And now a few examples. The first one, I was lying on the sand, soaking up the sun. I was lying on the sand, soaking up the sun. And the second example, after a harsh winter, she was looking forward to soaking up the sun. After a harsh winter, she was looking forward to soaking up the sun. And last but not least, number 10, burned to a crisp. Burned to a crisp. It can mean two things. First, it can be overcooked food. And the second meaning, people who have spent too much time in the sun. The first example, he didn't put on sunscreen and got burned to a crisp. He didn't put on sunscreen and got burned to a crisp. And the last example, my steak was burned to a crisp. My steak was burned to a crisp. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this English bit and learned new idioms. And guys, this month there will be a lesson every other week. If you want, you can pick an old video on my channel you haven't seen yet. Or if not, rest up and enjoy your summer holidays. And guys, if you enjoyed this lesson, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you in two weeks. Ciao for now!